Yo, what's going on, JRD Nation? In today's video, we're gonna be answering the question, do heavy ropes build muscle? Yo, what's going on, JRD Nation? So in today's video, it's one that we get asked about. We get this question all the time. So pretty pumped to address it. It's, do heavy ropes actually build muscle slash can I replace my weightlifting routine by just using heavy ropes? So real quick, before I get into the meat of this video, let's just answer the question. There is a potential that using heavy jump ropes does build some amount of muscle mass. Is that amount really great as say compared to weightlifting? No, doing an activity like weightlifting will help you add mass way easier than using a jump rope even if it's weighted. But I'm going to get into why you would even want to use a weighted rope in the first place and then kind of give you a breakdown of just some more details about this question and why it's not super, super easy to answer. So I hope this is an informative video. So in the first part of the video, I'm going to address the question, do heavy ropes build muscle? And then I'm gonna talk about some other things related to just how muscle is built and how you should be thinking of how to build muscle if that's what your goal is. And then at the end of the video, I'm getting to talk a little bit more about heavy ropes and why ultimately you should use them in general. Okay, first let's talk about building muscle. Now this is a very scientific thing. I'm not gonna get into the science. You can look up a YouTube video with some person explaining it way better than I can of how do you actually build muscle. So again, I'm gonna leave the science or super scientific stuff out of this and just give you guys a lot of analogies so that this makes sense. So the easiest way to describe how muscle is built is you have to put the muscles under some type of strenuous resistance. That could be weightlifting, that could be bodyweight exercises, that could be if you're a construction worker and you're constantly picking stuff up, it could be using heavy jump ropes. But basically the way to build muscle is to continuously and gradually put your muscles under stress. Meaning if you're using your muscles the same way you always have and you're not doing any new movements with added weight, your muscle mass is not going to grow because your muscle mass has no reason to grow. It doesn't have any reason to adapt because you're just doing the same old stuff. However, if you introduce more stress to your daily routine, to your workout, whatever it may be, your muscles are then forced to adapt and grow because you are using a higher form of resistance. A very simple way to think about this is if you've never done push-ups, right? And then all of a sudden one day you're like, dude, I'm gonna do 100 push-ups. So you do those 100 push-ups. Well, because you've never done them before, your body is going to be like, yo, guys, like, you know, hey, muscle fibers, like, we have to grow and, like, adapt and get bigger because now Dan, you know, he's doing 100 push-ups and we weren't used to handling that before, so we, we have to adapt and become stronger and larger so that we can handle this new load that he's giving to us. So muscle growth, otherwise known as hypertrophy, it's just the body's response to an increased resistance you put on it through exercise. Now, not all resistance is created equal. How much muscle and how fast you can put muscle on is directly correlated to the amount of stress you're putting on those muscles. AKA, not every exercise when it comes to building mass is created equal. So I said this at the beginning, I'm gonna say it again. Lifting weights is the most efficient and fastest way to grow your muscle mass, to get bigger. If you're trying to become a bodybuilder, you shouldn't be just doing push-ups, you should be lifting weights. If you're trying to become a bodybuilder, you shouldn't be using heavy weighted jump ropes, you should be lifting weights. And again, just a really easy way to think about this is Obviously that's the answer because if you're bench pressing 200 pounds, that's 200 pounds of additional resistance that you're putting on. If you're doing a push-up, for me, like I weigh 190 pounds, but I'm only probably using like maybe 60 pounds of force to push myself up, so that's way less than 200. If you're using a five pound weighted jump rope, that still seems very strenuous and heavy, but you're only spinning around five pounds. So lifting weights is scientifically proven to help you build mass the fastest. All right, so now that I just talked about how great weightlifting is for building mass, we're, we still are answering the question, can you build muscle with heavy jump ropes? So the answer is definitely yes. There is some kind of muscle mass being built when you put them under resistance from using heavy jump ropes. But the fact of the matter is, if you're trying to gain a bunch of mass, you're gonna have to do so much heavy jump roping, it's not even funny. Like you're gonna have to do 
the three pound rope for like 20 hours a day, which is not realistic at all. Or you could just go into a gym and lift weights and do bench press three times a week and squat a bunch of weight three times a week and you're going to grow your mass much faster. So my overall point here is when you guys come to us and you say, does using heavy jump ropes help me to build muscle? My answer is, yeah, they actually do. And they actually like benefit your muscles in a lot of other ways, which I'm going to talk about. What I'm saying is don't come into your workouts thinking, oh, okay, I can totally replace weightlifting and I'm going to get the same benefit as using my heavy ropes. Doing one hour of heavy rope training is not going to give you the same result as doing an hour of weightlifting. All right guys, so now that we answered that and now that some of you are like, dude, that sucks. I can't build muscle with heavy jump ropes. I can't get the body I want with heavy jump ropes. I guess I'll just quit jumping rope and go weightlifting. Just stop right there because there's some other stuff that I have to say that should make you want to use heavy jump ropes and why we think they're so awesome. The first thing I wanna talk about is I want you guys to, to really listen to what I'm saying here. A lot of people come to us and they talk about wanting to build a massive amount of muscle. And what I think a lot of people get confused about is I think most people just want to be able to see their muscular structure. Most people, I would say 99% of people, don't actually want to go through the hard process of becoming a bodybuilder. Like, I gotta be totally honest with you guys, when you see a guy who's really skinny and then he, he puts on a massive amount of weight, dude, that is so hard. It is so hard to build a bunch of muscle and keep it consistent, like to keep your body fat low while building muscle is a very difficult thing that requires a ton of discipline. So before you come into your fitness journey thinking, I just wanna build a bunch of muscle and get jacked, I think what a lot of people want is just to lose enough body fat so that they can see a good defined body structure that they already have. And I'll use my physique as an example. I feel that I have a good like muscular, muscular frame that I feel good about, but do I look like a bodybuilder? Absolutely not. The only reason that you can see my muscular structure is because I have a low body fat. So the reason I'm saying all this is because I first want you to ask yourself, what is my actual goal? To look pretty sexy and to feel good or to actually become a super jacked big bodybuilder? Because the process to get there are two different things. Which then brings in the reasons for why you absolutely should be using heavy jump ropes. Reason number one, they burn a ton of calories. That increased resistance, even though it's probably only building a tiny little percentage of muscle, it's providing a ton of resistance which does burn more calories. The more calories you burn, the more body fat that you lose. The more body fat you lose, like I said, the more muscles you can actually see. The second thing I wanna talk about is strength. When you are spinning a heavy rope around like that, you are engaging your core and every single muscle in your body. And you're engaging and using those muscles way more than if you're just using a little speed rope. So, can it help you increase your strength? Absolutely. If you're someone especially who does sports like rock climbing or you know rowing or something that surfing, something that requires you to use your hands, even like throwing a baseball. You know a baseball player when they're warming up, like let's say a hitter's warming up, you know how they sometimes swing like three bats so that when they actually get up to the plate, that one bat feels really light so they can hit a home run? Same concept with using heavy jump ropes to train. If a boxer is using a heavy jump rope and he's spinning that thing for a very long time, when he goes to throw those punches, he's gonna be able to throw them a lot faster and his arms are gonna be able to move a lot faster because he feels much lighter from training with the heavy rope. And in addition to increasing your strength, by just swinging that heavy thing around, like I said, you are forced to control it more than you would a speed rope. So when you're swinging a heavy jump rope around, that is gonna increase your overall athleticism. It's gonna make your reaction time faster, it's gonna make your speed faster, your agility faster. So when people come to us and say, do heavy ropes actually build muscle? The answer is a very tiny amount, but I'm more concerned with all the other benefits that they give your body and helping you have that lean, shredded, athletic physique. One thing here at Jump Rope Dudes, guys, that we're always gonna talk about is we don't care just about looking good. Looking good is part of it. That's, that's the easy part. You can definitely like lose weight and get a six pack, but are you functional? 
Can you dunk a basketball? Can you surf a wave? Can you box? Can you catch a football? Can you sprint? Can you play with your kids? Can you go for a 10 mile walk? That's the kind of stuff that we care about here at Jump Rope Dudes. Being functional and being able to do these things well into the later years of your life. So even though using heavy jump ropes is not gonna give you this, it's not gonna make you super big and jacked and have traps up to here and no neck, there are far too many benefits for you to ignore using heavy jump ropes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, I, I, I am pretty passionate about this topic, so please comment below. Let us know your thoughts, your feedback, um, what you think of jump rope in general, what you think of heavy ropes. Go ahead and give this video a like if you found it useful, and give this channel a subscribe if you wanna get more information to help you jump rope, get lean, and live more. And lastly, do not forget, our favorite heavy rope set, which I have actually sitting back here, is the Get Strong set by Cross Rope. It's the one and the two pound rope that comes with the power handles. I use it almost daily. It's linked up in the description below for 10% off. You just have to enter, do the thing, poke yourself up, get the ropes, move your body, lose weight, get muscles, be athletic, let's go. <laughs> All right, guys. Have an awesome day. We'll see you on the next one.